Amid the controversy concerning Luna and Blockbury Creative, the girl group recorded a low number of stock pre-orders for their new album Zero. Keep reading to learn why. Luna records low number of stock pre-orders for new album Zero Here's why many are surely aware that there have been issues involving Luna and their agency Blockbury Creative. To recall, Chu was removed from Luna on November 25, because, as per Blockbury Creative, she verbally abused and showed poor behavior towards company staff. Photo, Facebook, Luna, Luna Records low amount of stock pre-orders for new album O, oh, here's why four days later, nine members of Luna were reported to have filed an injunction to suspend their exclusive contracts with Blockbury Creative, with the reason that the trust between the company and the members has been ruined. However, the agency later denied the report. In the middle of the issues happening between Luna and Blockbury Creative, the label announced on deck. 7. That the girl group will make a comeback in January 2023 with a new album titled Zero. Photo, Facebook, Luna, Luna records low amount of stock pre-orders for new album O, oh, here's why pre-orders for the album opened earlier today, deck. 15. Unfortunately, the number of sales isn't doing good. Popular distributor KDown4U, in particular, has shown a significant decrease in first-day pre-order sales for LOONA's new album Zero compared to the group's last release. Photo, Facebook, Luna, Luna Records low number of stock pre-orders for new album O, oh, here's why their EP Flip that, released this past June, sold around 3,400 copies during the first day of pre-orders. In comparison, their upcoming album only recorded a total of 62 stock pre-orders on its first day. The sudden decrease in the number of stock pre-orders turns out to be one of the ways of the girl group's fans, collectively called Orbit, to boycott LOONA's comeback. On December 5th, fanclub Luna Union took to Twitter to post an open letter to Blockbury Creative demanding a formal explanation about their treatment towards Luna and the ongoing issues concerning Chu and the other members. They gave the company until December 7th to respond, at which point they would begin a boycott if left unaddressed. Photo, Twitter, at Union Luna, Luna records low number of stock pre-orders for new album O, oh, here's why and since the agency didn't respond, the boycott officially started. With the boycott, Orbits are encouraged not to buy albums, merchandise, concert tickets, or anything else that involves transactions with the agency. Fans are also asked not to stream or play any of the group's songs and videos on any platform, as well as other actions that would give a positive impact on Blockbury Creative. Photo, Twitter, at Union Luna, Luna records low amount of stock pre-orders for new album O, oh, here's why seeing that the number of stock pre-orders for LOONA's new album Zero recorded only less than 70 on the first day, it seems that the boycott is taking effect. While the figure can go higher in the future, orbits are off to a promising start with the boycott. Do you think Orbitz made the right decision to boycott LOONA's comeback in January? Share your thoughts in the comment box below. LOONA's recent activities in the second half of the year, Luna embarked on their first world tour LOONATHEWORLD. The tour kicked off in the United States across 12 cities, including Los Angeles, San Francisco, Denver, Kansas City, Chicago, Louisville, Reading, Washington DC, New York, Atlanta, Dallas, and Houston. 
Photo, Facebook, Luna, Luna Records Low amount of stock pre-orders for new album Oh, here's why following that the girl group headed to Mexico for their concert in Mexico City and Europe for their shows in Warsaw, Amsterdam, Frankfurt, Paris, and London. Their final stop to date is in South Korea with a two-day run in Seoul.